like to introduce you to my French mundane pigeons. We keep them here in the barn and this is the big flight cage that my father and I built together. So this is the storage area for my flight cage. Um, you can't get into the main cage unless you go through this area first. So it's a really good kind of double door when you're dealing with birds that can fly. There's going to be a lot of back and forth in this video about things that I'm doing that I'm going to change as well as things um, about these particular birds that um, aren't quite fitting my needs. So we'll talk about that. One thing you may have noticed is that I have these rabbit cages behind me. I've yet to set them up. I have to buy some of the framework and the bins for going under each cage for catching droppings. But one thing I've discovered about French Mondain the longer I've had them is that they really do best off in pair cages. You can keep all of your young birds in one cage together, but as soon as they start pairing off, you're going to want to move them into pair cages so that they can breed properly. These birds just don't get along with each other really great in a big flock. One male will dominate over the others and he might keep them from mating up with other birds. I've had one pair of babies happen so far from my dominant male and his mate and um, I really need to get my other male and female out of my big flight cage at the very least so that hopefully they can pair up and actually have babies too. These are my French Bondane pigeons. If you're unfamiliar with the breed, you might be a little bit surprised. These are definitely not the city pigeons that you're used to. These are definitely not the birds that you're used to seeing in your neighbor's barn. These are a huge utility breed bird. These birds can get really large. We're talking like 25 to 30 ounces each. They're big, heavy, bulky birds. And the reason they're so large is that they were originally bred to be a utility breed. Now they're more of a show breed as people sort of collect and breed pigeons rather than um, keeping them as farm animals. If you go to Google and type in French Mondain, what you're going to find is two different birds. The one I have is considered the modern or American French Mondain. There's also another one that's considered the European or the gross French Mondain. This one is more available in the United States compared to the other. Let me grab one of these things so you can really see how big it is. So this is my biggest boy. He doesn't really have a name and he does need one. So if you would like to suggest a name, you can leave that in the comments. One thing that I really like about larger pigeon breeds like this is that they are really easy to handle. Now he's really annoyed that I'm holding him, but he's not fighting very hard and he's a little bit more calm than some of the smaller flighty pigeons. Um, these guys also don't really fly all that much. They can get up to the top bookshelves that I have for them to nest and perch on, but they wouldn't like fly up into the rafters of our barn or anything like that. This guy is a huge bully. He is like the king of this flight cage and what I have in here is two pair and then two baby sisters. And um, he is the father of the sisters, and he will not let my other male play any kind of games in here with the girls. I originally bought the two pair so that I could have two pair actively um, breeding. But he keeps the male from either even pairing up with that girl that I had purchased for his mate. So I'm anxious to get them into paired cages. So let's talk about what I feed them. Um, these are some old quail cages over here. <laughs> I used to have Caternix quail, sold out of those to get into the pigeons. The feed is right here. So you know I'm a huge fan of these big silver bins because we have a lot of mice. Um, and I could get pigeon feed shipped to me if I really wanted. Um, my mill doesn't sell it and I haven't found it at like a local store. So I mix my own feed. Let's get you a little closer here. All right. So what I have in here is a mix of corn and peas and chicken pellets. Um, there's also wheat and some brown rice and some safflower seeds. 
Um, and like I said, I'm raising utility pigeons. This is a pretty good mix for what they will need to um, raise some good quality meat and some healthy babies. So let's get down to the real uh, negative, I guess, here. <laughs> French Fondaine are not much of a farm animal. Um, they were initially bred to be a utility bird, but as their standards have changed, um, there's like literal standards for each breed. Um, these are now a fancy show breed, even though they're large and in the utility category. Um, and as those standards have changed, they have really lost their function as a utility bird. Um, they're big and bulky and they're gorgeous and um, I'm sure if you butchered one, it would look a lot like a corn chen, but they just don't breed the way you would expect a utility bird to breed. Now, what happened there? What, you know, why aren't they functioning the way they used to? Well, that standard changed and um, now they're just, they're too heavy and their feathers are a lot tighter and they get in the way of the actual breeding process, if you know what I mean. In a future video, I hope to actually show you trimming of the feathers and stuff that needs to be done so that these birds can breed properly. I'm not gonna do that quite yet because I really want them in their individual cages before I really spur that kind of breeding activity. They're just, they're not set up quite right yet. Um, but anyway, if you're thinking about pigeons for a farm bird, I would not recommend the French Mondaine. My future plans with these are really maybe to sell some babies to people who are interested in owning full French Mondaine, but I'm thinking also of blending them with some other birds that are just better suited to my needs. Um, I'm a farm girl and I'm looking to raise my own food. These birds aren't quite earning their keep. So I can't wait to update you guys on my utility pigeon project when it gets a little further along. I'm going to move the mundane into the pairs cages like I talked about and then I'm going to get some different utility pigeons, something that's going to fit my needs a little better and I can't wait to show them to you. If you keep pigeons, comment below with what kind of pigeons you have. I'd love to hear all about them even if they're not for utility and if you don't know a lot about pigeons I highly recommend looking up all the pretty fancy breeds. They're really cool if you're into birds. Um, and if you do keep utility pigeons I want to know what kind of breed you keep and what do you feed them. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Camera's rocking. Needs to stop doing that. Why is it doing that?